Hi, my name is Fred Newman. I'm the owner of the View Camera Store and Fred Newman Photography. And today I'd like to demonstrate for you the 4x5 BTZS film tubes. Now when people hear the name BTZS, it stands for Phil Davis's book, Beyond the Zone System. So we have BTZS. And basically all products that Phil Davis has developed have the title, have BTZS in the title. Okay, now the tube kit comes basically with six tubes. Each tube holds one sheet of film for processing, so you can process up to six sheets, and it comes with six extra caps. Now I'd like to show you how to load the tubes with the film. I have three film holders with six sheets of film ready to process, and I'd like to show you how to load the tubes. What I'd like to first do is I write the developing time for each sheet on each side of the film holder. The real other advantage of this is you could do eight, up to six individual different times. So I'm going to put the developing time on the tube. And what you're going to do is curl the film emulsion in and put it right in the here, slide it in gently. And I like to get it just about to the edge so it's easy to take the film out of the holder. And then cap it up and put it on the left side. So this way, if you keep track of it, you can't mix up any tubes. Let's do the other side. Put the developing time on. We'll take the film out. Again, curl the emulsion in. Slide it right into the tube. I like having the film so that the edge is right by the lip of the tube. So this way, when I want to remove the film after I'm done processing, I can grab the corner and gently curl it in and then carefully pull it out. So the first thing I'm going to do is put two ounces in each of the caps. And then in the dark we're going to switch the caps. So right now we're just loading all five caps with two ounces. And in a minute we're going to turn out the lights and switch the caps. So what I'm going to do in the dark is Take each of the tubes, I'm going to start at the back, take this cap off this film in here and put this cap on this, the cap with the developer on this tube and we'll put the caps aside. So we can turn out the lights now and I'll switch the caps. Okay, I've now switched all the caps. Each of these caps now have developer in them, so I'm just going to put them all next to each other. Give them an extra tighten, tighten them just a little bit extra to be sure that they don't come loose when you're spinning them. Okay, so I'm going to start the timer and I'm going to shake the tube for about 10 seconds. And I do use an extra tube, I call it a dummy, because it's hard to spin one tube. So I usually get the end two and then the middle. And as I'm spinning, I let them spin and then as they slow down, then I start them up again. and you're gonna, we're going to do this for the entire time of developing. We're actually doing a film test here, so we've got five, five of the tubes are loaded. We're going to do one, one tube for four minutes, one for five and a half, one for eight, one for 11 minutes, and one for 16 minutes. So we're going to continue spinning the tubes, and since it's kind of, I would say, a little tiresome sometimes spinning the tubes, you might want a little music. And I just so happen to have my friend Dimitri, a violinist for the Phoenix Symphony Orchestra, will play us some tube rolling music.
and you will, you will get into a rhythm of spinning the tubes. It's approaching four minutes, and my first tube is going to come out now. So I recommend it's grabbing the tube with the cap upside down, twisting, put the cap aside, put this into the stop bath, continue spinning your tubes, and twirl this for about 10 seconds. You want to leave this in the stop bath for at least 10 with continuous agitation. And then we're just going to leave all the tubes there. Now we're down to four tubes, and this is actually what I like. Even though the tube kit comes with six, I find four is easier for me to do. So I'm going to continue spinning these. As I said before, it's easiest to spin two tubes at a time. And this way you got a lot more room. So I say my favorite is just doing four tubes and I have my dummy here when I have an odd number of tubes. Because I like, it's much easier to spin, whoops, two tubes than one. And at five minutes and 30 seconds, the next sheet of film is ready to go. So you're gonna get, grab the cap on the bottom, unscrew it, put it right into the stop bath. And we'll add the dummy tube here I'll continue spinning these while I have this in the stop bath for at least 10 seconds. The next tube comes out in another 40 seconds, or 20 seconds actually, so I'm just going to continue spinning. So again, you grab the cap on the bottom, tube on top, uns unscrew the top, and put it right in the stop bath. And now we have two more tubes to go. So we now have three tubes in the stop bath and two, two more tubes with film in them. And you might just want to pace yourself a little bit better when you've only got two left, so you're not going to do over agitation. So just give them a little bit easier like you're doing more than one.